Here this morning with some nice music from our All Saints Angels. And also, every time that you come into this holy church, all you have to do is look up in the front and you see Christ the King up there with his hands wide open to accept you into this church. Today's solemnity always takes place on the last Sunday in ordinary time before the beginning of Advent and the start of a new liturgical year. A person could say that this is a most, one of the most important parables in the Gospel of Matthew, comparable to the parables of the Good Samaritan and the Prodigal Son in the Gospel of Luke. We can make that judgment both because of its position in Matthew's story and because of the way this parable summarizes Jesus' entire message in that Gospel. Just what is the message with which Jesus wants to leave us? We hear, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, all the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. The sheep on his right, the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those at his right, come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous asked, when did they see him hungry, or thirsty, or naked, or sick, or in prison, or welcomed him as a stranger? And the king will say, amen, I say to you, whatever you did for the least brothers of mine, you did for me. There are probably several interpretations that a person can think about concerning this gospel and what it is trying to tell us. One interpretation I found most powerful, maybe even a little bit mind-boggling, that most conforms and confirms the primary emphasis that moves throughout the entirety of the Gospel of Matthew. It centers upon the judgment given upon those identified as sheep and goats. Who are the sheep and goats? Well, our automatic assumption is that it is people. But looking at the text, it begins, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. My friend, all of us will be judged. Absolutely everybody and everything will someday be judged by God. Every nation, and yes, every people, will be judged by God as to how it treats the poor. The entire theme of Matthew's Gospel is that Jesus is the Messiah, but because of the commitment at that time of Israel's leadership to greed and control and lust of power, Jesus is presented by Matthew as a marginalized Messiah. Jesus is one of the expendables. Jesus identifies with his poor, the marginalized, the vulnerable, the desperate. Therefore, Jesus calls you and I, his followers, to the very same living out of this gospel. We are to live lives of working for justice, for empowerment of the people, and of service among the marginalized nobodies of this world. That is what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Jesus is like no other king. The only crown he had was made of thorns and brambles. As we conclude the season of ordinary time, 
and moving to Lent, where we prepare for two, the two comings of Christ, that is the baby in Bethlehem and his return as King in glory. Let each one of us in these next four weeks of Advent make an accounting of our stewardship before the coming of our King. Here at All Saints Parish, we have some aids to improve this stewardship through our mercy in action. I encourage you to find something that is close to your heart and grab onto it. This morning, we need to pray that Jesus will continue to lead us and guide us in the ways of service, helping us to show our love for God by how we love and serve another, especially the least, the very least among us. Amen.